Welcome to the 11th part of the wisdom of Christ. Let me ask you something. How important is it for you to have success? To be the greatest, the best at something? I think it's important for most of us to be great at stuff and to be seen and to be the best. But what Jesus is saying in the passage today is somehow reversing some of this thinking that is so outspoken in our society today. And this is also why this is a little bit provoking and maybe challenges us quite a bit. Welcome on your mat. Please stand at the top end of your mat today. If you're completely wasted and tired, you can definitely sit down just for a moment. But, but just for now, let's move standing. So feet on the mat, you can kind of wiggle the toes a little bit, wave from side to side to find that space where you feel comfortable. Try to focus on your shoulder blades or the shoulder girdles. Maybe you need to rotate your shoulders a little bit back to broaden in front of your chest. And actually create better space for you to breathe. Let your arms hang heavy, but your palms facing a little bit to the front of the mat. Soften your knees. And breathe in freely. Inhale and exhale through your nose, if you can. And let's create a little bit of movement for our spine before I read the verses for today. Take your arms, ab arms above your head and let your palms meet, shoulders down. Then draw your hands down, using a little bit of force, pushing your palms together, down here in prayer pose. Then turn your fingers out to the front and extend your hands to the front without really rolling the back. Cord strong in, and then you move your arms to your right side for a twist. Coming back to center, moving to your left side. into center and leave your hands down. Let's do that with a breath. So inhale, take your arms up. Exhaling, drawing your hands down. Inhaling, pointing your fingers out, stretching your arms. Exhaling to your right. Inhaling to center. Exhaling to your left. Keep your hips standing firm. Inhale to center. Exhale down, forward, inhale, slow movements, exhale down, inhale to the front, strong spine, tall, tall spine, moving to your right side, inhale back, making sure your hip is staying in its place, it's on the top, moving to the side. Back to center, exhaling down. Maybe close your eyes the last time through. Inhale, reach your arms above your head. Exhaling, drawing your hands down. Fingers pointing out, inhale. Lots of length to your right, exhale. Center, inhale. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. And this time, exhale, fold forward, soften your knees. 
and then sway from side to side. This passage besides speaking to us today also in our society and I think a general human theme, it also proves that Jesus is actually really listening in to what people are saying. All right, hands down on the mat and step your feet back into your plank pose. Again, you can maybe bend one knee, bend the other, get a little bit of movement into your plank pose. Soften your elbows. Now, if you really want to go for it, you can stay in your down dog as I read the passage. But maybe you want to find child's pose or another pose that's somewhat what restful. So you're better, better tuned in at the listening. So child's pose would be here, hips back to wash your heels, forehead on the mat. So please rest there and just listen with your eyes closed. Mac Mark 9 it is, the Passion Version. The disciples and Jesus are walking, and from verse 33. Then they came to Capernaum, and as soon as Jesus was inside the house, he asked his disciples, What were you arguing about on the way here? None said a word, because they had been arguing about which one of them were the greatest. Jesus sat down, called the twelve disciples to come around him, and said to them, If anyone wants to be the first, he must be content to be the last and become a servant to all. Then he called a child to come and stand among them. He wrapped the child in his arms and said to them, Whoever welcomes a little child in my name welcomes me. So just repeating one of the central verses here. If anyone wants to be first, he must or she must be content to be the last and become a servant to all. That's very countercultural today, I would say. Taking your hands to the top of the mat, find down dog if you're not already there. Lifting your right leg up towards the sky, bend your knee and open up your hip. Drawing your knee towards the sky to take, make as much distance in between the knee and the mat as you possibly can. Now instead of looking underneath your right shoulder, which was, will be more easy, take a look underneath your left shoulder, just a little bit to even out the shoulders a little bit. So you don't lift one shoulder higher than the other. Awesome. Closing the hip, looking to the front end of the mat and drawing this knee underneath your belly and move it to the top of the mat. Lowering down left knee into low lunge. Moving your arms above your head. Hands behind your head, you can fold your hands and move into a back bend as you open up your chest. So that verse or that story, what did that remind you of? Letting go, taking both your hands down, framing the foot and lifting the back heel off the mat. High lunge whenever you're ready. Align the front 
knee and ankle, look to the front and lift up and sinking down. Drawing your hip or pelvis underneath yourself, engaging your core. And breathing. And exhaling. And letting go, maybe. Now take a hold of your left wrist and pull your left wrist to your right side. So you actually get a bit of a side stretch in your high lunge here. If it's too much, you can always lower the knee down and do this here, this less of a balance. All right, so that's the little bit easier version. You're not arching your back. Your, your back here is pretty tall up towards the sky, but you're stretching the side, all of your left side body. Release. Take both hands down the inside of the foot. Turn the back foot around so it aligns with the short end of the mat and try to stretch both legs. Now your hip probably will be a little bit out to the side, not aligned with the heels, but try to move it in to align it with the heels. Right hand on your ankle or wherever you can reach and coming into a triangle pose from the bottom and up. So your left arm slowly grows towards the sky, moving your hip in and maybe you lift a little bit higher if this otherwise becomes too much. Small micro bend in the knees. Elongate your spine. And take one last big inhale and exhale. Letting go, fingers down on the mat, lift the back heel off again. And jump this back foot just a little bit closer. Walk your hands to the top end of the mat, fingers reaching further than the toes and lifting up left leg. We're going to do half moon with a twist. So maybe you'll do a block. Now I have my Bible here, so I'll just use that. Your right foot is on the mat. Your left hand stays on the floor or the mat, wherever you're standing, right? But you're lifting your right leg up, so you're twisting. It's not traditional half moon. Lifting the back foot. You can either flex the foot or point the toes. That's up to you today. <laughs> but trying to create length from hand to hand opening up your shoulder and breathing, maybe looking at the ground. Releasing, step back, down dog. And maybe you shake out tiredness. Let's do a single vinyasa flow. Move to your plank as you inhale. Shoulders further in front of your fingers as you lower down on knees or toes. Inhale your cobra or up dog, down dog, exhale. Take a few breaths here in down dog if it's too much. Child's pose is an option. Jesus is pulling a, a kit into the center of the discussion here. And today that might seem, well, very somewhat natural, but back then, kits were not of high value, especially not if it was not your own kit. So bringing a, a kit in and taking it into his arms and talking proudly or like making an example of this small kit was not common back then. So Jesus is also in that way contra-cultural. Now lift your left leg up, and as we did before, opening up your hip. Bending the knee and lifting your hip up, finding gluteus medimus to lift and keep that leg lifted, if possible. Again, option of looking underneath. This time you are right, armpit. 
So we square off the shoulders, align it with the short end of the mat. Drawing the shoulder blades back. So watch your hip. And closing the hip, knee underneath the belly and see if you can actually step it to the top end of the mat. Shaking up your wrists, lowering down, right knee on the mat to low lunge. Taking an inhale as you draw your hands behind your head, smile to the sky <laughs> as you move your hip further to the front, open up your chest, which means you lean back with the top of the shoulders. Somewhat drawing a, a smiley from your shoulders towards the back knee. Uh, or um, vertical smiley. One last breath. Navel in, move your hip back. And with your hip moved back, that will stretch your, your spine a little bit. Hands down, maybe you wanna come up in high lunge. As I said before, you can definitely stay down with the back knee. No rush. Lifting your arms up, bending the front knee, somewhat 90 degree. Try to lift the quads here, they're called. Try to feel like you're lifting those muscles up a little bit for better engagement. And let's do that side stretch. This time you pull your right hand. So again, make sure your dark tail is tucked under, <laughs> somewhat maybe small bend in the back knee, and then lean to your left side. I love this stretch. It's pretty hard for, for the whole body, but still you're getting a stretch through the, uh, the fascias and everything, connecting the whole body here. So this is quite, quite cool and quite helpful for your body movement. And breathe deeply. Letting go. Again, framing the foot with your feet, uh, hands. Pivot the back foot around, align the heels. Not warrior two, but triangle pose. Hip, tuck it underneath yourself, so kind of draw it under before you do anything else that actually will move up your right shoulder as well. So move up the right shoulder. And then your right hand. Now you can choose to stay low. But if it doesn't do anything because you're moving your hip out to the side, maybe you want to move a little bit high up on your, on your uh, shin. I wonder how many management books actually writes. If you want to be a better boss or CEO, be a servant. <laughs> of course, you'll find books that says so because Jesus' wisdom is not just you know, for, for Christians like that. But it is, again, a challenge. It so is. Take a look down, framing the front foot. Oh, balance pose. Back heel off the mat and move the back foot a little bit closer so it's easier to lean forward and lifting this time right leg. Push it back, extend it back. Create length also in the standing leg. Now left hands are gonna lift up. Right leg lifted, left arm up. This will create half moon with a twist. I'm saying this very explicitly because there's always somebody doing it. <laughs> it's like the traditional half moon and it's not. 
Keep breathing, looking down. Shoot the back foot back and the foot on the mat, kind of make an imprint on the yoga mat for your foot. Closing your hips and taking one more big inhale. And letting go. Stepping it back. Down dog. And let's do a soft vinyasa flow. So wave your way to the front. Slowly come down. It seems might it seem like it might be effortless, but it's a lot of work coming down. <laughs> Inhaling up your cobra. And let's do child's pose again. With some distance in between your knees. Maybe you turn your palms up. And here ponder, meditate upon, upon where this verse with being a servant could actually benefit benefit you as a leader or a mom or a dad or where, wherever. Where do you need to become more a servant instead of trying to be the greatest or the first? Palms down on the mat again. And moving into a bit of, of stretching. But first, your cat pose. Stretching all of the back by moving your spine up. All right. Let go. Right a foot to the top of the mat and left knee on the mat. We're going to do lizard pose. So I see a lot of people doing it either like this with a short and, and like really bending this front knee. So try to have knee and your ankle aligned and the back knee there pushed as far back as, as you can. If you can't reach the floor, an option is of staying up here. But Try to move the knee so much to the side that there's space for your shoulders and both hands. Again, long spiral chest, a little bit space for the chest. And you might come down on one or two elbows. Maybe you stay on your hands. Now, I know a lot of, especially women, but maybe also men, <laughs> who are more have a natural tendency of being a servant than actually wanting to be the greatest or the best or whatever. So that's a good thing, of course. But I think it's also very clear that Jesus is not telling us to not say no <laughs> or not to have boundaries or not to uh, take care of ourselves. You just have to look through some of the other videos I did. You, you, you will know that. So being a servant is also be, to be treated with respect. And ask for respect. Come up on your hands. Walk your hands back, bending the back knee and stretching this front leg. Maybe you want to move it more to the front if it was a little bit out to the side. Toes pointing up. Again, blocks if there's the floor is far away. Use those underneath your hands. And lean to the front, stretching. Go with your navel first. Navel, chest, and then maybe your head. Now 
Now try to see if you can move your hip further back, not out to your left side. Okay, further back. Create that extra length from the heel through the back of the leg. Beautiful. Releasing. Stepping back. All right, let's move to the other side. Exactly the same stretches on the other side, lizard pose again. Knee and ankle stacked and make space so that you feel like you're not cramped in here <laughs> with both hands on the inside of the front foot. I just love that the disciples are speaking about who is the greatest. And Jesus also speaks to who is the first, but I think it, those two things are somewhat similar. Um, but how, how human are those? I mean, the Bible is not a story about heroes. It's also about heroes, but it's also very, very down to earth, right? I could just imagine how they would discuss. Well, I'm better because Jesus said this to me, and uh, no, I have this responsibility. I'm more important, <laughs> and all these things. Oh man! And then Jesus tells them, "Be a servant if you want to be great." This is Jesus' kingdom teaching. In our world, which is maybe not the kingdom of God, to be the greatest you probably will need to push some people down. Use elbows, as we say in Danish, just make your way. But in God's kingdom, it's not about that. Coming up on your hands, and as we did before, move your hip back, not out to the side, but directly back, and maybe take this front leg and move it more so it's aligned with the hip. Blocks if needed here, belly first, then chest, and then maybe head, reaching down. Be mindful that you don't hyperextend this leg, so you have a little bit of tension here in your, in your leg to not just sink into hyperextension. Release. Coming down on your knees and move your feet to the top end of the mat. <sighs> Finding just a rocking butterfly, if you can call it that. So of the feet together and move a little bit from side to side just to create a little bit of, of movement. Maybe you lean forward to the side. Gather your knees, coming further down on the mat. Let your knees fall in together and take your arms above your head and let them rest a little bit higher than you probably would usually. Not to pull your shoulders towards your ears, but just a little bit higher and, and then relax your shoulders for a little bit of a a somewhat comfortable stretch on your shoulder. And just listen with your eyes closed for the last time. Then they came to Capernaum. And as soon as Jesus was inside the house, he asked his disciples, what were you arguing about on the way here? No one said a word because they had been arguing about which one of them was the greatest. Jesus sat down, 
called the twelve disciples to come around him and said to them, If anyone wants to be first, he must be content to be last and become a servant to all. Then he had a child come and stand among them. He wrapped the child in his arms and said to them, Whoever welcomes a little child in my name welcomes me. Let your knees move from each other. And windshield your legs slowly from side to side for the last little bit of stretching here. So how can this small passage be something of wisdom for you today? Stopping the movements and also sometimes do just one minute of resting here. And maybe picturing you being the child that Jesus wraps his arms around and making an example of you are welcome to be a child. A child and a servant. What what beautiful words. So meditate upon that for one minute in quietness. One minute is up. You know you can stay longer. And you know you might need to. If you have been too much of a servant today, <laughs> you might need to rest more. If you haven't been too much of a servant today or a servant at all, maybe it's your time as you move here to think of someone you can be a servant to today. Wiggle fingers, toes, ah, stretching, whatever makes sense before you actually slowly make your way into a seated posture. God's blessings on your path and thank you so much for joining me in this long series. I hope you want to watch some of those you haven't seen to draw some wisdom from Christ. Thank you. Before you close the laptop, thank you so much for helping me reach out with Cross Yoga by you subscribing, liking, leaving a comment Every single person counts here. So thank you so much for taking the time to help me offer you free yoga also in the future.